Tanuja here. I welcome you to the Freshes World YouTube channel on jobs and careers. Today's video is a continuation of the permutation and combination video that we did earlier. And today we'd be discussing on few of the problems that are most common in government job exams or software aptitude exams so on. I chose the problems which are very frequently asked in those uh, type of exams. So let's start with the first one. First question, if the word detail is given, so how many different types of words can be made out of it? Not meaningful or non-meaningful words, but the condition is that the vowels in this detail should be in odd positions. So how we will be doing it? First of all, see these are six letter words, so let us position them. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So what is the condition that we have that the vowels should always be placed in the odd position? So we can only choose first, third, and fifth position for the same. And how many vowels do we have here? We have one, two, and three. So three vowels in three places. So what will be the permutation for this? It will be required number of formations would be 3 p 3 that is equal to 3 factorial which is equal to 3 into 2 that is 6 similarly now what do we have left the consonants which are d t and l d t and l are to be placed in the rest of the three positions which is second fourth and sixth so again you see we have three words and these are to be placed in three different positions. So what will be the permutation for this? Again it would be 3p3 which is 3 factorial equal to 6. So now the total number of words or total number of permutations for the word detail condition vowel should be in all positions would be 6 into 6 that is 36 so the total number of required permutations is 36 let's go for the second example the next question the next question is how many three digit numbers can be created out of these numbers that is 2 3 5 6 7 and 9 such that the number is divisible by 5 and is not repeated in the group so let's start so first of all, uh, we'll start with the unit place. Unit place, since it is divisible by 5, so it is obvious that the unit place will have only, it can have only the digit 5. So unit place 5, so the permutation of 5 will be 1. So the first required permutation we get is for unit place, is 1 because only there is only one way that we can add 5 to the uh, first position so 1 now next we'll take the tens position for tens position we have five digits means any of these five digits can come in the tens position so what will be the required permutation for that it will be 5 c1 because there is one position and there are five numbers for the same. So it will be five. Now we have the hundreds position now. For the tens position, we used all the five rest of the five digits. So for the hundreds position, one more digit will be removed out of it. We'll have out of the six digit, four digits would be available for the hundred position. So how can we uh, place it? I mean like how the number of required permutations would be here 4c1 which is 4 this is 5 and for unit place it is 1 so the total number of permutations in this case would be required permutation would be 5 into 4 into 1 means that if we get these six digits and we have to create a th three digit number which is also divisible by 5 
we will be getting 20 different numbers that's what this is so let's move on to our next question now okay so our third question is that we have seven men and six women and we have to create a committee of five such that it should have at least three men in it so what are the possible ways that we can group them so uh, see there can be three cases now since uh, we have to create a committee of five it can either be three men and two women or it can be four men and one woman or it can be a group of or a committee of all five men so we have three cases here first one is three men and two women see we started with three men because we have a condition here that at least three men should be there so first case would be three men and two women second case would be four men and one woman and third would be five men and zero women which no need to mention so first start with three men and two women so the possible combinations here would be since you see we have seven men and we need three men out of it so seven c three and we need two women out of six women so it would be six c two now the next case seven four men out of seven men so it would be again seven c four into six c one and the third case is five men seven five men out of seven men that would simply be seven c five now this if we calculate we'll end up getting 525 and this if we calculate we'll end up getting 210 and 7 c 5 is 21 so we see three different cases if we take three men two women we get total number of combination that is 525 if we take four men and one woman we get a total combination of 210 if we take five men we get 21 so we have seven men and six women so the total number of combinations that we can create out of it would be 525 plus 210 plus 21 which would be equal to 6 5 and 7 total is 756 so in 756 different ways we can create a committee of five members from the seven men and six women so this was our third question let's move on to our fourth question now so the fourth question see here we have 21 english books and 19 hindi books so the question is how can we arrange this 21 english and 19 hindi books in a row of a shelf a library shelf we can take it in such a way that no of the uh, no two of the hindi books are together it should always be separated by an english book that is the condition here that no hindi books no two hindi books can be together so uh, let's see means let's try to arrange them so it can only be arranged in one way that is So here this H denotes Hindi books and E denotes English books. So you can see we can only arrange it in this way so that no two Hindi books are together. Always there will be an English book in between them. You see English books are 21. So the number of places which are marked by H will be 22. So E is 21 and H is 22. Now you see we only have 19 books but the number of places which in which where we can arrange these hindi books are 22 so here 
the number of permutations would be 22 p 19 which is equal to 1540 so the number of ways in which we can arrange this 21 books and 21 english books and 19 hindi books such that no two hindi books are together will be 1540 we have 1540 different ways to do it so there are 1540 different ways in which we can arrange these 21 english books and these 19 hindi books together in such a way that no two hindi books are together see uh, you can understand it better if you just write these e 21 times and you try to put h in between all those e's you'll find 22 h so these are the four questions that i selected for you people so that you will get a little more better understanding on what type of questions are coming mostly in the government type exams and the software aptis like that if you're looking for more jobs then please do register to freshersworld.com and we are coming up with more videos on these types of questions like government job questionnaires and like software apt kind of questions and all so please do like and subscribe our channel thank you and have a nice day